huge surprise from these shoes guys so much better than i expected the 16 dollar shoe but easily one of the best running shoes under 100 us dollars that i've tested so far a heart speed to the city streets we began to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals that take us higher hi guys still dr cy the running dog doing what i love which is running and reviewing running shoes as always i sniff out the best affordable running shoes and showcase them to you on this channel today i have with me a very nice affordable running shoe from adidas the adidas switch run don't get it mixed up with the more premium model the adidas switch forward now these shoes look almost identical but the easy way to tell them apart is that the switch forward which is the more premium model have actual cutouts on the sides and on the bottom of these shoes as you can see i can stick my fingers into the sides here and also into the bottom here but the switch run which is the affordable model has just indentations you can see the hands can't go anywhere what i'm reviewing today is the adidas switch run which is the budget version of these shoes in my size us 11 or eu 45 these shoes weigh 318 grams not too heavy but also not too light just about the average weight of daily trainers around this size the stack height is 40 millimeters in the heel 30 in the forefoot with a 10 millimeter offset from heel to toe Adidas say most of the upper of these shoes is made from recycled materials and they continue to fight plastic waste. However, these shoes look neither cheap nor shabby. In fact, I think they do look great. Nice finishing. The mesh upper is thick and soft with an inner soft liner that feels very nice around the feet. It has a TPU Adidas three stripes on both sides. A slightly reflective overlay also here in the toe box. The tongue is thick, soft and nicely padded. This is completed by decent padding around the collar and the heel counter for a very nice ankle support and comfort. There's a TPU material at the heel counter here to add stability. Nice toe box room. The regular lacing system does its job efficiently. The insole is removable, thick and soft. The midsole is a thick layer of soft and relatively light EVA foam offering fantastic cushion. Despite the thickness of this midsole, it is very, very flexible. You notice this wiring as it just allows natural feet movement. Lots of indentations on the sides here add some kind of character to this shoe, you know, making it look kind of funky. Shallow contacts at the bottom of the sole too. You know, the rest of the place is covered by the Adidas Adiwea rubber outsole. This shows nice grip on the pavement. How do these shoes fit? I bought my usual size in this and they fit very nicely. I found the toolbox width to be excellent. You know, enough to allow freedom of movement of the toes without being extra. So I will suggest you go through to sizing this. They felt extremely comfortable on the feet. Thick insole gave a nice, soft and comfortable underfoot comfort. Soft patterns around the ankle as well as the inner soft liner for a smooth feel. The lockdown is excellent both at the heel and at the midfoot. How did this perform on the run? In the first place, they didn't do breaking period at all. Out of the box, they were soft, they were light, they were bouncy and they were very comfortable. So immediately I laced up these shoes, I went on a run and it was a very nice run. The cushion in these shoes are the best that I've gotten from all the budget shoes that I've reviewed so far. In fact, the level of cushioning I got in these is very close to what I got from the Gel Nimbus 25. So that is to tell you how comfortable these shoes are. There's no ground feel at all in this. On the other hand, the response was modest. However, just like the more premium switch forward, the design on the side here make it that as these shoes compress, they kind of shift or roll you forward. So the nice lockdown, smooth transition, and the easy forward roll compensated to give these shoes a decent pace. It was easy to maintain medium paces in these shoes. Overall, I will say that this gave a super comfortable, smooth, and decently responsive and enjoyable ride at easy to medium paces. Stability wise, they may be a little lacking and they wobble easily from side to side. But if you don't have any stability issues, you are not going to have any problem in this. I did it. Nice grip from the outsole in this. In fact, my feet have never felt better after a 12 km run than they felt after a run in this. I feel that these shoes will be best for heel and midfoot strikers as well as stride runners, you know, those that increase their pace by taking longer but fewer strides. As you land on your heel or midfoot, the cushion is very protective and the midsole compresses and rebounds in such a way to easily roll you forward onto the next stride. 
This will be best for daily easy runs at medium to easy paces. But when you really want to go on out and out speed runs, you may find the response lacking. Four foot and cadence runners, you know, those that take quick short steps, may find these shoes lacking in the pop that they need to bounce from one step onto the next easily. I tried it and that's what I noticed. But for heel and mid foot strikers, they are just excellent. I cannot really say much on the durability of these shoes for now. You know, this is the first model of these shoes and these are relatively new in my collection. Only a few runs in them yet. Maybe after 100 to 150 kilometers, we will see how these shoes are fared. On protection of the feet, I'm going to rate these shoes very highly. You know, this is one of the most comfortable running shoes I have run in so far this year. No significant stress at all on my ankles or on my knees while running in these shoes. I did a 12 kilometer run in this and my feet felt so fresh after the run. So on value for money, well, I got these shoes for 224 Saudi Real. That's approximately 59 US dollars. If I consider the comfort, the overall run experience, if the protection of the legs and the looks, I'm going to rate this shoe definitely above 92%. And if after 100 to 150 kilometers, they prove to be decently durable, of course, I'm going to give them over 99% of value for money. I really loved running in these shoes. shoes that protect the feet. By the time you finish running, you come back, you don't feel any pain. Those are just the kind of shoes that I like to run in. And that is what these shoes actually offer. Easily the best budget shoe I have reviewed this year. So guys, that's it about this shoe. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.